hi guys i'm Ocha and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you three step-by-step -step processes of creating your digital signature if you find this content useful please make sure you like and subscribe so i can keep creating content for you guys thank you so i recently had to sign a contract with a client remotely I mean, the client wasn't anywhere around me, you know, so we had to do all of that online. And um, I needed to input my digital signature or my signature in the contract in the form. So I was thinking, how can I do that? How can I do that? So I came up with, with a way, um, with some methods, right? And I did that successfully. So I want to share that with you in this video. The first and main thing you would need for this is a notepad any notepad would do now the method one i'm going to show you how to do this with your computer and for this you will need a graphic tablet this is what a graphic tablet look like you can see it so usually it's this um slim looking thingy that comes with a pen you know and then you can write whatever you want to write on it and it's just reflect on your computer and um i'll show you how to do this even without this but just in case you have a graphic tablet then this might be you know a lot more easy for you if you're a creator and you don't have a graphic tablet i really recommend it you can look them up online i mean you can get them anywhere these days really so just look it up online, maybe about $20, $30 or so. It shouldn't be much more than that. Um, unless for the really advanced ones, for the guys who do animations and stuff. Um, but really, if you're not using this for animations, I don't think you need the really high-end ones. So any of this would do. This cost me just about maybe $20, $25 or so. All right, so um, you just need to open your notepad for this i'm using note shelf 3 um you can find it on your app store if you're a mac user um or, or apple user you can find this on your app store um for the windows users maybe just see whichever notes um application or software works for your computer and that should be fine and some of the things you should take note of you you must have a white background for this you must have a white background well the reason is because most um the reason is because most documents usually will come with a, a white background so i mean it's only fair to <laughs> it only makes sense to have a white background right so um now i have my white background and my tablet is connected my digital or graphic tablet and now i'm just using the pen that comes with it um you see that if i'm moving around you know that's just the pen doing that movement so um i'm going to select a black text here or a, a black pen a black color and all you need to do is sign your signature obviously this is not my signature so all you need to do is sign your signature and then um, if you're using note shelf 3 you can go and share you know and then share current page as image and share again and just um, save to your finders or whichever folder you want to you just need to rename it just gonna rename it sign and boom it's saved to my desktop already now if whatever software or notepad you're using can't do the whole export thing you can also just take a screenshot of the page this also applies when you're using your phone you can just take a screenshot on the page take a screenshot on mac um, you use your shift command three number three and boom you have a screenshot now that we've exported it we have the file here once you click it it opens like this and then you have this file so you can see it's saved as a png file a png file basically it's a transparent image file so 
um, it's saved as a PNG and it's a transparent file. So whichever picture or document you put this file on, it's not going to add it with the background. It's just going to be this file. Now, the second method here is to use your screenshots, which basically I already did. If your software is not able to export for you as PNG, you can just take a screenshot now you have this file which is a screenshot file now what you need to do is to crop this out crop out everything that is not wanted in this photo uh, and just make sure you have just the, the, the signature and the white background in this case we have this now the next thing you want to do is go to this website called remove.bg now what this website does it removes background of any photo at all any photo so what you want to do is load up just drag uh oh, no, that's not it yes this is it all you need to do is just drag this into the website drop it anywhere and let it do its thing okay so bg has finished doing its job and all you need to do is download you can download this as HD, but you, you need to sign up or sign in and it's free. So, I mean, so um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to download and it's going to open the whole thing up in your download folder. And now you have it. See, it's a transparent background. PNG. So now I'm going to show you how to add this into your contract or document, whichever document you're signing. I'll be using Canva for this. You can just open a basic template. So now I'm in Canva and um, if you're importing for the first time, you can just go ahead and create a new document. You might want to use A4 if your document size is A4, then you might want to use A4. So for this, I have a template here. This is a template. <laughs> a template <laughs> so this is a template in canva and i'm just going to use this template i just added my name here so so now all you need to do is drag your signature into this project and like this yeah and just just drop it it's going to load and do its thing And yeah, now you have it. So you you need to resize this. Um, just resize it to fit your document like this. Yep. And we have our signature. And you just need to export. Now the third method. This is using your phone. So what you need to do is open your notepad. And any pen usually will work, but most likely a pen or a brush too, like this. And, and of course, your next step is to sign your signature. It's usually not very easy to do this on your phone, especially if you're not using some sort of pen, you know, like physical pen. It's usually not very easy. But if you can find a way to just have your perfect signature done, then, then it's done with your phone. So what you need to do after this is Take a screenshot of this page because usually notepads on phone don't export at least not to png to the best of my knowledge so you can take a screenshot with this and then crop it out crop out every other thing out and make sure you have just the signature and the black background and then of course from there you can go back to your remove.bg and BG would do its work. And then you have your final signature. And then you can save this, maybe save it in your Google Drive or wherever you feel you can save it so you don't lose it. So you don't have to go through all of this again the next time you want to sign your digital signature. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.